Guys, it's so over for us. So everybody's been talking about this thing called Nano Banana. Like what a weird name, but apparently it's the new Gemini image editing app in AI. So we're gonna take a dive into 10 of the use cases that we can use as designers. And I, honestly, guys, this thing is absolutely insane. So the top competitive advantage of Nano Banana, in my opinion, is that it can take the same subject and put it in many, many, many different scenarios, backgrounds, changed outfits, whatever you need it, it'll keep the same subject, which I think hasn't been really done before to this scale. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys and its use cases. So to actually use Nano Banana, we're gonna go on to Google Gemini. If you guys just search up Google Gemini on Google, or just go into it directly, then there is this prompt that is similar to GPT and all the other uh, AI models. What you're gonna need to do is go down to this tool section and then right where it says create images and there's a little banana symbol beside it, this is what you need to be using, okay? So if you don't have this checked on, you'll probably get a less powerful image generation. So Google has made a complete guide on how you should be prompting your images to get the best result. So you guys should definitely check that out before you hop deep into the image generation of Nano Banana. So we're gonna start off by changing the angle as well as the lighting on subjects. So here we have our Omni from our shop online. And this is one of the pages that are here. Now, if I wanted this page to seem a little bit darker, all you're gonna do is go ahead and drag your original image in. You can see it has a white background. And then I'm gonna type in with the image provided, turn the background to a dark shade of gray. And I'm just gonna let that run. So it's gonna turn that image with this background that used to be white into something that is a lot darker. So if I wanted to try a different color scheme or balance on the page of my layout, I could definitely do that. Now this text on the page can actually be white and you can see that these two give off a completely different vibe to each other. Now, Nanobanana is also really, really good at interpreting angles. So if I want this image to be more of an overhead rather than a straight up portrait shot of her, then I can type in something along the lines of change the angle of the shot to be from overhead and you get something like this, which honestly blows my mind. But if you put that into the same layout, it works just as well, just as studio and professional. And we have a totally different page and page design. Hey, check out our website. It's got amazing things that you can learn, that you can download. Just just check it out. Okay, to further drive home the point that the Nano Banana is really good with the same subject, here is a photo of me that was taken by my aunt. I'm going to use this photo as the prompt. I'm gonna put it into Nano Banana and I'm gonna write something like, using the provided photo, give me a close-up studio headshot for professional use. And it spit out this, which honestly looks really, really, really good. And I could use this on my LinkedIn or any professional photo right away. Okay, so let's push this function just a little bit. With the same photo, I'm going to say something like, using the provided photo, make the subject in the middle of a Chinese restaurant eating lamb skewers. So that's pretty hard prompt, but this is what it spat out. So I was really blown away by the results here. Did a great job with the people in the background, the skewers that I'm eating, just the oriental feel of everything that's going on in this photo. And most importantly of all, I think it got my face really, really nicely. Now, keep in mind that my original prompt was kind of me tilted to the side. So it kind of had to map out the rest of my face. What do you guys think? Does it look like me? Now let's take that and push it a little bit further. Say I make jackets for a living, this is my product, and I want this model here, Sam, to model my product. Okay, now if I drag in both of these photos, so first we have me eating skewer, and the second photo of a silver puffer jacket, I'm going to write something along the lines of create a new image by combining the elements from the provided images. Take the puffy jacket and put it onto the man eating skewers. So you have to be really precise when you're putting in more than one picture into this Nano Banana Gemini image generator. So here I really need to specify that I want to put the silver puffer jacket onto the subject eating the skewer just so Gemini knows what to take from one image and put onto another. So make sure you're doing that when you're prompting as well. So here's what it spat out. I would say that this is an amazing representation of what I would have thought this picture to be because everything else was kept exactly the same and it was able to map out my body or some craziness happened here and it put the jacket on my body. Isn't that just absolutely insane? I think it is. 
Okay, so that's cool, but what if I wanted to push it just a little bit further? I want to add a, another person. Keep me and another person. So I took this skewer image of myself and I wrote in something like create an image of this man fighting to pay the bill with his friend, as you do <laughs> when you're eating skewers, right? And this is what it spat out. It added a completely new person to this image. He could very well be my friend. Looks like somebody that I would get along with. And we are fighting over the bill. It kept everything else the same, added a person, and we are literally fighting with credit cards on the table over the bill. Okay, so pushing that further along, I'm gonna take that image of me and my friend fighting over the bill, and I'm gonna see how well it can change the background. With this image, I put it in, and I put create an image of these two men, each holding bubble tea, walking through the streets of New York, and having a great time. And this is what it spat out for me. Isn't that great? This is me and my, and my new buddy, uh, Bob, having a great time in the streets of New York holding bubble tea. He even has two bubble tea. He's a really nice guy. And I think it did a really good job. It kept the facial features of me and my made up friend super intact while changing the background just perfectly and, and basically did everything that I wanted it to do. Okay, next, let's take a look at how Nano Banana deals with different image styles. So here I'm taking that same photo that my aunt took of me and I'm going to tell it to draw it in cartoon style. It's really good at this, and it's really good at picking up all the facial features and keeping the subject consistent. This is what it spat out for me, which is great. Now, pretend I have something that is a pencil sketch. I also told it to make it into a black and white pencil sketch, and this is what it spat out. So Nano Banana is really good at turning from one style into another to fit whatever your page or your design or your layout needs. Okay, this next one really blew my mind. So say you have a number of products that you want to advertise and put onto a design that you're trying to publish. So here I have a picture of a couch, a picture of a model, as well as a picture of three different paintings. Now the best method to do this is how I've shown it here with everything, all the subject and objects on a white background separated. And similar to the other ones where we're combining different photos, we need to tell Gemini what is what and placed where. So this is the prompt I gave it. From the image provided, Take the three painting and put it up on the wall of a modern home with a female model sitting on the couch in the foreground. And this is what it spat out, exactly how I wanted to put everything in. Okay, that's great, but this next one really, really blew my mind. You guys ever get red lines or things from your direct supervisor with arrows saying, fix this, fix that, put this here, put this there? Well. AI can do that for you now. So I have this same image. I want it to do a couple of things for me. I want to add a gold floor lamp to the right, a fake olive plant to the left, and a little dog trying to get onto the couch uh, somewhere down below. And I told a nano banana to generate a new image, keeping all the elements in the photo provided while also adding in elements using the directions provided in the image. And so this is what it's bad out for me. It's got everything. It's got the gold floor lamp. It's got the little dog. It's got the olive tree. You can make annotations on any image and it will basically do it for you. So this one is about having a sketch or something similar and turning into something that is more real. So for this example, I have sketched out something just with pen and paper. So here I had to describe the scene just a little bit. So I think with any sketch, you have some sort of design thinking in your head that you want to explain to Gemini. So for this one, I had to be pretty descriptive because I had a vision of what the sketch is in my head and I needed Gemini to be on the same page. And so this is what it spat out for me. This would have saved me a lot of time in architecture school, in design school, just making things that become real by just typing in something into a Gemini agent. Like that's, that's, that's crazy to me. So this next one also relates to sketches, right? I have two subjects that I've generated out of AI doing the T-pose. And this is my amazing drawing of what I want them to be doing, okay? I literally went into Photoshop and drew some stick figures. Anybody can do this. I want them to be in these yoga poses. And I told Gemini to take the three images provided and generate a single image with the female subject and male subject mimicking the yoga poses I sketched out with stick figures, setting is to be at a park. And this is what it spat out. I think the image came out great. Everything looks exactly like how I wanted it to be. Although the direction of the poses is a little bit off, that was about the only thing that I could pick 
because the people are the same, the background is what I wanted it, and their poses look amazing. Okay, so second to last one, really, really a hack. It's able to make full-on posters advertisements for you. So if you work in marketing, this is a godsend. Let me show you an example. This is an image from one of the previous examples, you must remember, of the actual couch that the model was sitting on. And so I told Nano Banana to use this product photo and turn it into a professional marketing advertisement. You're not gonna believe what it spread out for me. This is it. I, it literally rendered everything in a room with a professional perspective and lighting and everything. And oh man, like previous models, they were not good with text, but things have gotten a lot better. All right, so the last one I'll go over with you guys today is mock-ups. We do a lot of these and they're super useful. We want whatever we're doing to look great on a professional product or in real life, right? So here in this example, I've taken two of the different layouts that we've done before on this channel. And I've also generated an image of a magazine open on a table. And so here we really wanna be careful because we're combining three different images. So I told Nano Banana, using the open magazine on the table as a mock-up base, replace in the other two images as the left and right spread of the magazine. Use the one with more words as the right spread and one with less words as the left. Now, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but this is what it spat out. And as always, it looks amazing. Aside from the one singular little square on the bottom left here, everything else looks perfect. Everything in the background stayed the same and it was able to input the pages into the actual mock-up itself. I didn't really have to do anything. So what do you guys think about this? Leave your comment in the description below. I'll read them, I'll respond to them. This is pretty crazy. I'm a little bit scared, but excited to hear what you guys have to say. With that said, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you guys would like a part two and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.